All right, guys, so in this lesson, we're gonna look at how to use a bar stool as an improvised weapons, okay? Now, when we're looking at this whole how to survive a bar fight, there's improvised weapons everywhere, whether they're static, projectile, or something that you can use for range. So, again, using a bar stool is as simple as bringing it in front and picking it up. I wanna pick it up, like this one actually has kind of different handles, so I'll pick it up from here to here. I'm gonna use it first thing to cover center mass, which is what? Cover my chest area. The second thing I'm gonna do is use it to create range between me and my attacker. So if he, if I, like right now, I'm in close quarter, I can't run. Again, I'm assuming I've seen the knife, even if I haven't, and maybe I'm, I'm cornered, and I'm, maybe I'm faced with multiple attackers, he's bigger, maybe stronger, I'd rather pick up a weapon. Right? I always say, especially against a weapon, go hand to hand as a last resort. Now in close quarter, if I didn't have the bench and he attacked me, I would have to fight him. But since I have an improvised weapon that I can pick up that can give me some distance, I'm gonna use it. So I'm gonna pick it up this way and I'm gonna use it to, John, imagine, you, uh, I, don't, I don't even wanna smack him. And I'm gonna use the end here to go into the face. Now, don't forget that if I do this, you didn't see that coming, right? If I'm, if I'm striking here, I still might throw a low line kick because he's thinking high. I'm using this to cover center mass that if he wanted to come in anywhere and try to strike me, he's got to go through this. Now, his probably his, his initial move, what would you do if you wanted to bypass this? Be to try to grab it. Once he grabs it, I'm going to use my legs and kick and then hit high with it with, with the, the bar stool. So don't stick to only using here. I'm gonna use my legs, I'm gonna try to keep him back, and the moment he grabs it, I'm gonna start kicking. If he pulls away, start pulling it, like you're pulling, pull, pulls, I'm gonna drive it into him. So, again, there's always weapons lying around. If I see him here and he's talking to me and he's getting close, the first thing I might do this, be like, what's up? I'll pick it up right away and go straight into the face. Again, if he's made his intention that he's getting close, if I see the weapon, don't wait, especially in a club or in a bar. Don't wait till the attacker gets in close quarter. With a weapon at this range, a lot of times you won't see it before you make your move. You have to be always aware, pro proactive, and be aware as much as possible. And I see him coming in close. I can't see his hands. I'm gonna start shifting my weight. I'll create a barrier and I'll pick it up. Now, a static improvised weapon would be this. That if I was here, go come over here, and I saw him, maybe I would come between here and here. This would be a static improvised weapon, which means I would create this bar and create a shield between me and him, where I know that if he wanted to come through, at least he would have to either move around, or maybe if he tried to grab me, it would be a lot harder for him because this is a static improvised weapon. So like I said, you have static, anything that doesn't move, which also can be used to slam his head. We're gonna look at that a little bit later, but as well, pick up improvised weapons or projectile, anything I could throw. There's always shit lying around, bars, whatever you need, especially when you're faced with a knife, Again, in this, in this close quarter, you're not gonna see the knife, you're not gonna hear the knife, it doesn't make any noise, doesn't reload, and it's, it, especially in clubs, and I've seen people get stabbed, we never even knew who had the knife. So again, even you're in close quarter, always be aware, be aware of your environment. So I hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. I'll see you next time.